just save it, save it. We finna rule this planet, planet. We ain't gonna keep our laws, no. And we keep an aim with Glennis, Glennis. Y'all walk around with Sanis, Sanis. Ready for the war, we stand it, stand it. We hit the street, they panic, panic. Strip coming out, they vanish, vanish. You will never ever say to me, black or Hispanic, cause my nationality is It's two on this earth, earth. direct, direct enemies, enemies to the most high God of all, Christ, his son, the black Messiah, and the children of Israel. Y'all mad at me, cause we study. The Bible deals with it, and that's what we're trying to bring out to you. And guess what else the Bible does? The Bible brings solutions to the issues and the problems that are plaguing our community. So, they, I just got one question for you. Did slavery exist? It still exists. Right. And the the second part of that question is, is there any other book that's out there that documents our, our, our slavery? Not that I know of. Like I said, I'm not a reader book. It's right here. All praise. So, we all, we all the book. All right praise. Right here, we live in every day. So, Every day, like I heard you tell the sister, getting up going to work for that man. You know, I see it every day, bro. And it's hard that we can't, and a lot of our people don't understand that and see that. If we ever can see that, we're going to overcome it. But that's what right. Once we overcome it, we're going to be in our right place. Let me ask you something. Yeah. What's your name again? I'm Eric. Eric Zakar. I'm Zakar, right? So, you said a lot. You said a lot, Eric. And the thing is, is you know what? I'm not even surprised that you have a like like Fizz, you made you you made a lot of points. It's because you've been on this earth as long as you've been on this earth, right? My not thing. Now the thing is, the officer made a point. He said a lot of times we we have these understandings, and without the guidance of this word, believe it or not, I'm a, I'm gonna make a point about something. Without the guidance of this word, we have a bunch of knowledge and random understanding of things and we don't know how to combine them right so the one thing you said that you said was there's many versions of this bible and you say i don't necessarily read this bible but i live by faith you don't read the bible but you don't you live by faith okay so but this is the thing Eric, that's not it. That's not it. 
Because guess what? You said you was excited and happy to know to find out that the black people were cowboys. Right? Cool. You know, in this Bible, in this Bible, it shows a lot of the other things we did as well. We were the Spartans. We were, we were the Moors. We were enslaved by the Egyptians. We were not the Egyptians. We won battles. We triumphed over nations. All of that's in here, right? But the one thing I want to ask you, because the thing is, one of the things I want to say is, you say you live by faith. So what is faith? Where do you find faith? Where do you get faith from? I get it from believing in myself. Well, that I can make choices in my life. Mm -hmm. That's the number one key. So if I love me, I love you. And I, and I gotta keep that faith inside of me. Uh-huh. So let me ask you this. Because you said, I can see these things. That's the reason why a lot of our people don't like to believe in the Bible is because some of the things that's in here, you can't necessarily see. But faith itself is the substance of things that's unseen. So even your faith to say that I'm going to strive and make these goals happen in my life, I'm going to start my own business, I'm going to earn this much money, I'm going to do this and I'm going to make this for my family. Those are all things that you cannot see, but you still trust in them to be true. Watch this. Hebrews, uh, yeah, no, Hebrews 11 and 1. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things you cannot see. That's what faith is. You know what I'm saying? It's hope. That's what it is. The faith, the substance of things hoped for. So guess what? The faith that we have is that all of this stuff that happened to us is not void. Meaning, the Most High would not be a just God if we went through all of this slavery, all of this, now this right here, all this slavery, all this, because you know they just made the movie for this brother right here, right? Uh, uh, emancipation. Yeah, Emancipation. All of this stuff was, for, was not for no reason. You understand what I'm saying? But the only hope that we have comes from the Bible. Because guess what? The people that done this to you with just the faith you have, what's going to happen to them? You understand what I'm saying? For the people that done all this stuff, sold us in the auction blocks, put us on these slave ships, beat us, forced their religions on us, used our babies as gator baits, whipped our backs like this, to where this brother was going through swamps, covered himself in mud, fight alligators. It's like, that was a lot of stuff. Look at it. The whole, you get the whole big picture. That right there, because we don't want to repeat that. We're going to learn from that. We're going to go But we not. Some of us is not. Some of us is not. Watch this. No, no, no. That's not my interpretation. I'm about to show you. I'm about to let you see it now. Watch this. So, just bring my fault. Pick it up again. Pick it up again. This, this brother right here, right? In the movie Emancipation, where it showed their background of it and stuff like that. When he, when they got there, they forced them to stop speaking their language and they tried to change them of who they were and started teaching them their own, the customs of the white man, right? So let me ask you a question. Do you believe that you're one of these slaves today? Do you feel like you're repeating the things that kept us in bondage whenever we got put in slavery? In a sense, not really, but the only reason why, because I'm surrounded around my brethren that are there. So I'm like trapped. In that little, in that little space, but I know different. Okay, I so. move different, and I see things differently. But I try to pass on like you guys are doing. But you know, it ain't easy. But that's what I'm trying to show you is that in order for you to pass on the right message, you must have to. You first must learn the right message. You see, you see now, see that's where, that's that's where I get. That's what you like. That's what that's we different at. You know what I'm saying? Because not, not no disrespect. Yeah, I, I know At what you. All, I know what I know what the mindset is. I see, man. It takes a lot. It's a hard thing to do. I hear I hear the brother speak and say like y'all just smoke and do all this in the uh -huh. Respect that. So we done came out of that body. Uh huh. And here we are. Uh huh. Here we are. Uh huh. Guys come out. It takes a lot. Of I think y'all believe. But then you got some people that think you know. What's the thing? You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, no. I understand. Not bad is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm trying to tell you, Eric. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's hard. I'm a, 
Watch this. Watch this. The man was given. That's what. Let me answer. It. This was given by the inspiration of God. Every book that's on the face of the earth, a man wrote it. That's right. Right? Now, the thing what I want to tell you is I'm going to step on a limb. Not even step on a limb. I'm, I'm going to go as far to say, and I will challenge anyone that disagrees, that all these doctrines, all these religions, all these beliefs that's on the earth today are false. I know. There's not one doctrine on the earth today. I'm going to tell you this. There's not one doctrine that's on the earth today that cannot be debunked with this Bible. There's none. There's nothing. There's no book. Hold on. There's no book. Hold on. I, 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 I open them to challenge. But, no, but that's what I'm saying, Eric. But that's what I'm trying to show you. There's nobody on the earth today. If they're not teaching that the children of Israel are the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, and that we are God's chosen people, and that Christ, most High Son, His Son, Jesus Christ, back on the earth to give the children of Israel and the children of Israel only a chance of repentance and that if they keep the commandments of God you will get the kingdom of heaven all of them and that that is not Christ their doctrine is false and it's lies and it doesn't lie it's, it's not real it's not and I would deb I would debunk it along with any brother that's out here would debunk that doctrine with this Bible what I'm trying to show you is Eric all that knowledge out there give me uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 what's 12 and 10 12 and 10 Every doctrine out there, Ecclesiastes, there you go, 12 and 10. Every doctrine out there, they give you partial understanding in certain things. Like for instance, you'll learn about the Moors. But all they give you is Moorish belief. They're not saying, well, who were y'all before the Moors? They're saying that this is the way to go. They'll have our people that would learn, like Islam, they would think that this is the man, this is the religion for our people. But Islam is an Arab belief. You understand what I'm saying? Christianity. But they will say that this is Jesus. And then they will take scriptures that's, verses that's not in the Bible and use it to say, this is what we should do. Come as you are. God knows your heart. All those things is false. They have people out there that's research and they find out who we are. Like you say, you find we're the cowboys. Okay, you find we're cowboys and it made me excited to know that we were the cowboys, that we were the Spartans. To see the greatness that our people do because all we've shown is the thugs. All we've shown is the actors. All we're given is that. We're not given the images of ourselves doing great things. So every time we get that, we cleave to it. But there's more. But the thing is, you have to find the source, which is this Bible. Watch this. Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my verse 10. Verse 10. The preacher sought to... Yeah, 12, and 12. 12 and 12 and further by these my son be admonished of making many books there is no end and much study is weariness of the flesh guess what if you just go you can go and find a book over here you can go find a book over here there's uh the, uh, the uh, hidden colors and all this other stuff you can watch and you'll see all this understanding and then your mom will go to another book and be like damn I gotta go to another book and you're like I didn't go to another book but you search all those books when you first started. You forgot that you searched it for an answer. But it just takes you to another book. And then you got to go to another version. And then you got to go to another volume. Guess what? And a weariness of studies, it messes with your mind. But guess what? When I got to this book, all of that stuff stopped. All of it stopped because all the answers is here. The reason why we went into slavery is here. The prophesying of our slavery is here. Who we are as a people is here. Who, what we must do to fix our communities is here. What is going to happen to our, who is our enemies? It's here. What, what we got to do to get out of this captivity? It's here. And what's going to happen to all those people that done all this wickedness to us and what's going to come of it is right here. Huh? So, but you kind of is, Eric. Go ahead. Yeah, but I, in the sense I am, like I said, uh -huh. I don't need it. Uh, that's so, all right. I don't, I don't get, I, I try not to mix it. I know there's a higher power than myself. I know I'm a black man, you know, and I know he ain't you. No, he's not. That's Caesar Rogier, yeah. Pope Alexander VI. I already know that. So there's no way the way he's all designed. So the way he's designed is for us to, to be a people to, to stay in this rough. 
But my thing is, out of all of the, 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 the Bibles you're reading from and all the other Bibles that, and all the studies, even uh -huh. with Islam and all this, why? why we, As a people, uh -huh. are we still here? In the same way. Okay, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Because this is where we got, this is where we got to get to. Uh -huh. In order to get us out well, of Hold on, you got to give me, let me start with one question at a time. You okay. said, why are we here? Right. And I know what you're going to go back because we're not studying that Bible, we're not living by that Bible, we're not, you know, uplifting ourselves where we need to be through that Bible. Now, I'm not knocking the Bible. Don't get me wrong. 2015. I'm not, I'm not, because, like, man wrote that Bible and he went through some stuff. So, what is the end to that? What is the end to that? That, that he, the person that wrote the Bible. I'm about to show you. Overcome. Watch this. He overcome. Yes, watch this. Watch this. Watch it. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Why go. are we here? Why are we still going through the curses today? Watch this. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Guess what? Now, hold on, Eric. You said... I know you're going to go back and say it's the Bible, we got to study the Bible, we got to read the Bible, and we got to do this, that's why you're going to say it. But guess what? The answer is, watch this, watch this. Until you come back to your true nationality as an Israelite, because you're not African American, because that was given to you by your slave masters, right? Until you come back to your true nationality and keeping the commandments of God, you will remain in captivity. That's one. Two, you made the statement to say, okay, I know you're going to say this. I know you're going to say we need to do this and we need to do that. But I want, the, you know, did they overcome? Did they do this? Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> if somebody, if you're on the ground right now, somebody's doing this to you on your face. Stumping your face in, right? And you're looking at us like, hey, 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 how do I get them to stop kicking me in the face? Somebody tell me something. And I'm like, Eric, all you got to do is tell them chitty, chitty, bang, bang, three times and he's going to stop. What? I don't want to hit on Chitty Chitty, but what do I got to do? What I got to do to stop? Eric, all you got to do is say Chitty Chitty Bang Bang three times, he's going to stop. I, I, I heard that already. Somebody said that earlier. But you only said it twice. You got to say it three. But I, so give me something else. There's nothing else, Eric. The only way to come out of this is keeping the commandments of God. Right. And guess what? You can't say I understand that because, Eric, you have to begin to keep the commandments. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Stop!